Ash.com. You are being with Ron Ash and Darshini in spirit, and we are the Being Talk Radio Network. If you'd like to schedule a private session with Darshini, uh, you can call her directly at 714-348-9994. Again, 714-348-9994 to schedule a private session. You can also keep up with Darshini's classes, workshops, and events at darshini-inspirit.com. That's darshini-inspirit.com. We'll be taking more of your calls at 424-757-1425. That is our own number, so write that down once again. 424-757-1425. Lisa from Tampa, Florida, is joining us. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Hey. Hi. Yes, um, I was calling to talk to you about a relationship that I'm having. I was wondering um, if you see, uh, we broke up, and I'm wondering if you see this, you know, us getting back together or if it's over. Thank you. Okay. I know I had this kind of broken up, made up, broken up, made up a few times here. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, but every time you get together, you think you fixed it. But there's this, I hate to say it, um, whoever your guide is, quite funny. It's as if you're trying to stuff everything into a balloon, but there seems to be, um, like, popping holes, and it deflates. So you try you fix it like with um, a like a tire fixing kit, but it still pops somewhere else. Does that okay. make sense? And in other words, you know, sometimes we've done what we need to uh, with a relationship, but it's hard to let go of it because again, what well, I don't know if you heard the earlier show we were talking about relationships. I know I heard that, and I was like, oh, they're probably talking to me. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we were waiting for a few calls on this subject, quite frankly. Usually is. But basically, um, we don't want to leave it. And it is hard. Um, yeah, it's it hard. Your comfort. Yeah, it's a comfort factor. But the thing is, how can you discover new things about yourself? And you've got a lot to offer. And I hate to say this, well, not hate to, because people know what I'm like. Uh, I'll be brutal here you've kind of hidden some of your talents and who you are under a bushel with this relationship just to make it work. Is that true or not? Well, I'm not, I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm not really recognizing that. Um, the thing that's going on is that I haven't really known him that long, so it was really quick, you know, like he was in, he was out, he was in, he was out, like quick, you know, like uh so I haven't really had a lot of time to explore, you know, really what it's like between us. But the connection was really strong when we met. But, but he had a lot of issues t with his family members and things. And um, oh. I'm having, personally, having a lot of difficulty letting go because I don't feel like it's over. And um, well, I was, that, sorry. Sorry okay. to interrupt. But quite frankly, it's a kind of a bottom line thing here. You're a fixer. You like to fix things. You can't fix this, period. No, I can't fix this. You're correct. But, yeah, and you are determined to fix it. And in your mind, oh. that all relationships, you can fix things. You know, you, you're empowered. You, you've got this strength and, um, how can I say, this energy that you can do things. And you, when, only when it is um, through you will close it down. You understand? And it, mm -hmm. to you, it hasn't been closed down satisfactory. Sometimes, guess what? You don't know what went wrong. You don't know what went right. It just you is. Know. What it is. And I hate to say that to you. Usually I back off and say, you know, it's up to you, um, which a lot of people say, you know, why can't you tell me? That's what you're there for. I'm not here to serve anybody. None of us are. We are here to be truthful, and it is your life, not ours. But on this instance, you know it is done, but you still want to make sure it's he's okay, you're okay, and for that energy to have that complete cycle. But I hate to say it, you can probably go back again, and it'll start in the same way. And I know, I know, I know, oh my God. <laughs> it's like a tumbleweed down a, down a hill and you'll never get that satisfaction that you believe. But, you know, on the other 
bigger event horizon here is that you're not seeing what you could have down the hill. You understand? You're just obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm guilty. I'm guilty as charged, but I mean, like, do you feel? I and I heard everything you're saying, but I keep getting this feeling that he's going to contact me again really soon, and it makes me feel uh, I, I, uneasy. You know what I mean? Like, um, no, it's all up to you. I mean, you, you know, you you can go on and on and on here, um, but I'm going to stop <laughs> it there because it's not going to. It doesn't change what I'm going to say, right? You know, it's trying to not. justify and more or less, like everybody else, what I said to you, and you want to hear what you want to hear. No, and, no, no. And, oh, he's going to call me. Yes, he could call you. But quite frankly, yeah. you have to decide what is enough, what is what you want. Do you see this guy for the rest of your life in your, in your life in this way? And if it is a no, move on. Okay. You're not being fair to yourself and fair to him, to be honest. All right, Lisa, thanks for the call. Thanks for listening. We have Louise from Kansas. Hello, Louise. Hi, Rod. Good morning. How are you? Good Excellent. morning, Virginie. Good How morning. How are you? Well, great. What a, what's your question today? Well, first I want to ask you a question about you. I want to know how you're feeling. The last time we talked, things were not great, but I want to know if you're doing any better. Oh, we we managed through everything. Everything was a challenge. And, you know, uh, but things are showing a bright light day. And thank you so much for asking. Uh, but we, we've, you know, everything was as it should be, put it that way. But um, growth is hard. <laughs> and but thank Absolutely. you. A lot of people don't even understand that we go through quite a few things. Otherwise, how can we read for you if we don't go through kind of major challenges in our life? Well, well, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, I remember that and um, think oh, about your, your great thoughts. Thank you so much. How's everything all right with you? Oh, gosh, we would be here for several hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just wait. I know it sounds a long time, but um, I do see a huge transition in November. Um, in other words, from now until November, you've got the choices to make. Um, good, some good three things will happen, but only if you recognize them for what they are. Okay? I see. I see. Um, I, I do have a question um, about employment. Okay. And what I, do you want? I'm, I'm needing employment. I just finished school in December and got sure. through that day and um, looking for employment. and. Wondering if you see that coming soon, and do you see it more in the corporate, government, or nonprofit sector? Well, I, we're not going to let you do. We're not going to give you that information because then you'll only concentrate on what we say. But okay. What I'd like to say is to really, you know, go ahead and go check everything. By the way, go to Indeed, I N D E E D dot com. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, it's meant to be very good and a bit more successful, even more than Monster. But you will see that um, something's happening in July, but it seems that you're attracted to it, but there isn't really that um, affinity with it. But okay. by September, I really feel you'll be definitely in a, a job that you enjoy, at least the first step to your next step. Okay? Okay. Well, thank you very much. And I, you know, oh, I my pleasure. Thank you, and great luck to you. Thank you. All right. Have a great weekend, Louise. Thanks, Rob. Gussie is here. Hello, Gussie. Hello. 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 Yeah, Hi. what can we do for you today? Ah, thank you. So nice to talk with you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Um, I'd like to know whether um, uh, uh, I am on the right course here with uh, making an out-of-state move that is now being contemplated. Is okay. this where is this is this in divine timing and and path? Okay, you've been kind of um, you're a, a lady of uh, I would call it push it. <laughs> you know, if you want something, you're gonna push it. Um, but you've kind of uh, learned, you've actually been contemplating your um, 
from my phone. We're getting feedback here. But you've been <laughs> contemplating this move since last July. Is that true? Um, no, I would not say contemplating, no. It's really been much more recent than that. I, I see something happening last July. I want you to go back there because they're, they're very insistent that you see something there in July that happened last year that is tied to the situation, okay? I, I, um, that was right before, that was the last uh, month of my father's life and that he and he did actually live in in, in Utah. That's the state that I'm contemplating. He did live there. That was right because, yeah, in July. Okay. Well I don't see it immediately, quite frankly, but it seems that it, every time you try and do something, do it in the next few months, it's going to hold you back. And again, you know, you understand divine timing, so just be aware of it. But I don't see you moving until about um, mid to end of July this year. And even then, you've got kind of apprehension um, attached to it, but you're going to be okay. Okay. So you need to cl close things, okay? All right, let's go to Missy. She's calling us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hello, Missy. Hi. Hi. Good to talk to you guys today. Well, Hello. Hi. Thank what's you. Your um, I wanted to know um, what you feel about my, um, a love interest that, you know, what okay. you feel is about him and, you know, what's coming up for us. And Okay. But this is, have you only known him a few months or something? Um, I've known him for since we were kids, actually. Okay, but have you been involved with him? How long um, have you been involved with him? We just um, started communicating a month ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, so, that's a totally different person. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's not the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why. It you was do share some to... history, but, you know. Uh, just think of yourself when you were a child and think of yourself now. I mean, we've, we've grown. That, that's pretty much, you know, uh, rediscovering each other once again. So I'd say that's right. Good. Yeah. Yes, Thank you're right. You're right. <laughs> we find a comfort in it, though. For some reason, we find, oh, I, I've known them all my life. Well, you know, there's been probably 30 years where we didn't know these people, <laughs> what they were doing. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Well, uh, and that's so true, Ron. What I would say is that you seemed a bit more interested in him than he is with you. Is that true? Somewhat, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in other words, you're trying to, and again, we're looking at security, what we talked about earlier. There is a, a, an aspect, oh, I knew, I've known him ever since, you know, nearly all my life. So there's security there. But... I would say uh, you're not very, are you near to each other? You don't seem to be. No, there is a distance. There's a distance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I really don't see, uh, even though you're interested, but you know what? I would also advocate you start looking in your own backyard as well because you're uh, trying to protect yourself by, oh, you know, he's safe. <laughs> yeah, because you can't get to him. But um, you really have to start also not obsessing, you tend to not exactly obsess, but want things that are unattainable. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, yes. so you um, Okay, yeah, so like me, Sorry. Um, I think we're, with this particular situation, um, we have always, we were together in high school, and we've always kept in touch over the years. And we've always acknowledged our feelings. And I didn't know, you know, I was married for quite a while, and I didn't know if it was something that, um, you know, was something. Well, uh, you know, you're still going around in circles here, to be honest. In other words, you, you know that, you know, you've always been curious about that. And once you, once you ended a long relationship, you start going back to hooking again, as I said before, you're looking for uh, security. 
And the security is somebody you knew at that time. But as Ron quite rightly put all out there, is that these are two different people. A lot has happened between. Even though essentially they're, he's a good person. I'm not saying he isn't. But really, you are not the same either. So I would just tread very, 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 not softly, but cautiously. And you have to realize um, that you have grown. And don't obsess about it, because quite frankly, then you're not seeing the right relationship at all, and it's going to come back and bite you. Um, not to be mean here, but just being very truthful. Um, but well, also look around in your own backyard as well. And if it's meant to be, it'll happen. But it doesn't mean to say that you're going to not force it, but engineer it, which is a totally different thing. All right?